Hey everyone, it's Jamie, and lately I've been trying to kick the habit of being on the internet before bed. It's impossible to fall asleep, and I find that I'm never actually being productive. Unless you count looking at two hours of Jennifer Lawrence gifts being productive. Yeah, I didn't think so. So instead, I've taken to the age-old tradition of reading, and I love it. The only thing I'm not a fan of is trying to find a way to hold my spot on the page, which is why today I'm going to show you three fun and easy ways of making your own bookmark. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so in order to make your own bookmark, take an envelope, cut out the corner, stick it into your book, and you're all done. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and that's way too easy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's get creative then. Today, I'm actually going to show you how to make a corner heart bookmark, a corner character bookmark, and a ribbon hair tie bookmark. If you're making the heart bookmark, you're going to need origami or decorative paper, a ruler and pencil, and tape. If you're making the character bookmark, you're going to need one sheet of plain paper, plain cardstock, decorative paper or cardstock, a ruler and pencil, craft glue, and any decorative tools such as googly eyes, markers, and jewels, just to name a few. Finally, for your ribbon bookmark, you're going to need ribbon, a strong hair tie, a big button, and a needle and thread. Finally, no matter which craft you choose, you're going to need a pair of scissors. Let's start with the heart bookmark first because it's the easiest. On your bookmark, get set, step one. Cut out your paper into a 12 by 6 centimeter rectangle. Make sure that your measurements are spot on because it's going to affect the way your bookmark looks once you start folding. Speaking of which, the next step is to fold your paper. Fold your rectangle in half, hot dog style, with your paper pattern on the outside. Now fold it hamburger style just to create a crease in your paper. Unfold. Using that crease as your guideline, fold the left piece up so that its right edge aligns with the center crease. Then fold your right piece exactly the same way, aligning its left edge with the center crease. Now you should have an upside down pentagon, otherwise known as the smallest shield ever. The remaining step requires you to flip your design over. Take both corners from your left piece and fold them down into small right triangles. Do the same with your right piece. Finally, to keep your paper from shifting its shape, use some tape to hold down each of your right triangles that you just finished folding. Place a final piece of tape down the center of the heart to lock everything into place. And there you go, an adorable corner heart bookmark. This one is my favorite to make because it takes no time at all, costs next to nothing, and you can place it anywhere from your nighttime read to your school books. I heart it so much. Now let's create a corner character bookmark. Step one. The first step is to create your bookmark template. On a plain sheet of paper, create a two and a half by two and a half inch square. Draw an identical square both on top as well as to the right of your original square. In these new squares, draw a diagonal line from the bottom left to the upper right to split each square into two triangles. You won't be using the outside triangles, so feel free to X them out in order to remember. Otherwise, go ahead and cut out your finished template, which should look like a diamond topped with a sort of bow tie. Step two. The next step is to design your paper for your bookmark. Trace your template onto your plain cardstock and then cut out your design. Glue a square of decorative paper just slightly smaller than your original square onto your plain template. All right, it's folding time. Fold both triangles in over your square in order to create a good crease. Then glue one triangle piece on top of the other over the square. Now just like you did with your square, glue a triangle of plain or decorative paper just slightly smaller than your your original triangle onto your cardstock. Step three. The final step is to add in eyes, ears, a tongue, and any other decorations for your bookmark. And there we go, a little bit more crafting time and you've got yourself a cute bookmark friend. And finally, let's step away from the corner bookmarks in order to make one that's a little bit more fancy. I'm gonna let my hair down for this one. No, I mean I had to. I need the hair tie as one of the supplies. Step one. The first step is to measure your ribbon so that you know it's the right size for your book. Place the center of your ribbon at the beginning of your book, whether right under the cover or a few pages in. Wrap your ribbon ends over the cover until they overlap, and then cut your ribbon so that it's now a nice long strand. Step two. The next step is to sew in your strong hair tie. Simply place your hair tie at one end of your ribbon. Fold the ribbon through the hair tie and back on itself. Then sew the ribbon together to lock the hair tie in place. This is the same technique that I used a few weeks ago in my t-shirt accessories DIY, only this time I'm using a hair tie instead of the D-rings for the belt. 
But now that I think about it, you could use extra t-shirt material for the bookmark too, instead of the ribbon if you have any left over. Finally, the last step is to sew in your big button. Replace the ribbon inside your book to realign where you'll want to place the button in regards to your hair tie. Bunch the fabric that will be beneath your button and sew it together into a neat bundle. Then simply sew your button into place. Loop your hair tie over the button and you're all done. As your bookmark moves further into the book, the hairband will stretch accordingly. And that's the only thing about this craft that is a stretch. After all, just like the other two bookmarks, this craft can be made in less than 10 minutes and by using leftover materials that you find around the house. Three simple and easy bookmarks at your service. Now if only staying off of Facebook was this easy. <sighs> Shouldn't even call it Facebook, more like face internet. Face net. Ah, that doesn't work, does it? Which bookmark did you make? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stop eating my head. Nom 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 nom. Go find a book or something. Good call. Bookmark monsters in monster love. <laughs>